right around the corner, and we're trying to get you in the mood for celebrating. And what better way to do that than with monsters, zombies, and goblins? Joining us here is Jesus Vega, a special effects makeup artist. Nice to have you here Hi. today. Thanks for bringing all these scary oh. things. Pretty Thank impressive you. stuff. Thanks for having me. Um, Jesus, how did you get started in this? Um, it all started uh, around the age of 10. I was obsessed with the art of magic, the okay. art of illusion. Harry Houdini, David Copperfield. Sure. And then, um, well, my love of horror movies also, well, I combined everything together, the magic and the creature creating uh -huh. and uh, special effects. Uh, it's like when you see a magic trick, you ask yourself, how did he do that? And sure. when you see a movie with fantasy stuff, you ask yourself, how do they do that? So it's all the art of uh, fantasy and magic. Now, you work for movies, more or less, right? Yes, I've been doing a lot of independent stuff lately. and. Uh, last month I went to um, Hollywood for a couple of interviews over there and now I'm back here and I'm working on the, that film Aquatic X. Yeah, let's talk about Shark, Shark Man here Shark for a second. Yes. I said he looks kind of scary, but you're like, no, he's a good guy. Yeah, he's a good guy. <laughs> he's a hero. He's a soldier that turned into a shark, um, a shark uh, man and um, it's all combined with the ocean and being the soldier and the DNA and stuff. He became a, a, a hero. I it's actually, well, I see the shark fin, yes. right? I get it. <laughs> it's actually according to director's design. So. All right, I see. But you have some of your own designs, like yes, this one this you came one up with. The, this is uh, like a, a scary rat yeah. of some sort? <laughs> it's an alien bat I designed okay. uh, just for practice and to keep it on display around the house. Oh, because that's nice to have around the house. Yes, I, <laughs> <laughs> it keeps me, uh, keeps me motivated. And, that's true. Yeah. Um, let's talk about the process. So you get an idea or you get an assignment, more yes. or less. How, uh, how do you get going? Um, it first starts with the uh, design. Okay. Either a director, a director or a producer or art, art director gives me a design or they, they'll ask me to design this creature according to the movie script. Okay. And then I'll get an armature, uh, it's a, a base with a pipe, mm -hmm. and then uh, I'll throw clay on it and, and just start sculpting the design according to the, what I have in, in the drawing. All right. And then um, after the design is complete, the, the detailed and everything, I mold it out of a stone material, a plaster, a track hell, is a cement kind of. And then once that's dry, I open the mold and take all the clay out and then I'll cast it in rubber. Mm -hmm. Just pour rubber inside the mold and empty the mold and then open the mold and you have the... Voila! Uh, yeah. huh? In fact, let's yes. take a look at the pictures because I know that uh, we were showing kind of the process through it. This looks like you're putting the details on it, right? Yes, um, I'm airbrushing the mouth. <laughs> yes, that's for a movie called um, American Witch. Whoa, that's not yeah. that's not pretty. <laughs> yeah, that's that's all gelatin. It's actually edible gelatin. Oh my gosh! Yeah, wow, it, it kind of just melts off the face yes. there. And then uh, that's an alien creature yeah. that I did on myself for practice. And this is kind of the early stages you were just talking about, right? The clay. And, yes, uh, yes, and that that the mouse is actually uh, foam. Oh, the big okay. block of foam that I carved. I didn't sculpt it. I just carved it away. Wow. Just carved it, and um, and that's gelatin alien creature. Okay. Now let's did. talk about this green guy because I know it's. Uh, and there you are again fixing uh, fixing up the last yeah, details. Sculpting out of clay. Yeah. That's All right. Sculpture. Um, so pick him up and show him because okay. this is a puppet, right? Yeah. This is a puppet I made. Oh, his uh, eyes are blinking. Yeah, his nice eyes and creepy. Turn on <laughs> actually has mouth movement. Wow, this one, so I elaborate. yes, <laughs> it's, all, it's all foam, um, oh. soft foam, like the cushion they use on the sofa. I didn't sculpt it; I just built it up as I went. And the the teeth are made out of screw, super sculpty. And these are toy uh, ball, and I cut it up. Wow! And I put them all together. You really could freak somebody out with that, you yes. know. <laughs> <laughs> and what's the doll on the end there? I mean, creepy doll the at doll, that. The <laughs> doll, Sally, uh, was based oh, Sally. on a movie called Gretchen. Um, the director wanted uh, the doll to look innocent, but also creepy kind of looking. I think you accomplished that, uh, right? Thanks. <laughs> yes, the director loved it and everything went well with her. So this is my copy. Most of the time I don't get to keep the stuff that I make. They, I, I build them and I sure. send them away. And, and they that's keep that. It. So, yeah. You must have a little museum though in your house, right? Yes, well, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it adds up. Um, Jesus, where can we find uh, some of your work and uh, more information about you? Um, you could go to JesusVegaSFX.com okay. or you could find me on Facebook on JesusVegaSFX. All right, then that's what we'll do. Thank you so much for bringing all these creations in. Of course, love information over at WTNH.com. Just click on style. All right, you could take these. They're kind of freaking uh, me out okay. a little bit. Stay with us. Tony Mavuli from the Inna Villa Bianca recently stopped by to show a delicious Italian dessert. We'll show you how to make sedas after the break. Thank you.